What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another YouTube video. So today we're going to be looking at viewer submitted helium antenna setups. Hopefully this will give you guys an idea of what you might want to do with your setup to improve it, to improve earnings. I'm going to go over all the information with each setup and I will have all of the links for the products that they have in the description below that I can. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first submission is from Larry Shaw. He just had a 3 dBi antenna and was averaging 0.5 to 0.7 HNT per day, picking up 20 to 23 witnesses, and he was about 25 feet in the air, above ground, indoors. His new setup is with a Rack 8 dBi antenna, and it is about 37 feet above ground. He's now picking up, on average, 1.3 to 1.8 HNT per day with 50 to 65 witnesses, running 15 feet of LMR 400. He said the difference was night and day when he switched from the 3 dBi to Rack 8 dBi. And one other thing I wanted to note is that he said that he was surrounded by apartment buildings and the extra elevation got him above the apartments in one direction, which accounted for the majority of the witnesses. Up next is a Bobcat from Zillow's World. He is located in Fort Worth, Texas. He's running in a Rack 8 dBi antenna as well, but he did state that he has a 5.8 dBi on the side that he will replace one more hotspot start coming into his area. He also has an Ethernet cable running directly to the miner, which is really nice. He wanted to say that he just hit 14 witnesses, and he has about the same rewards as me, unfortunately. That is the struggle of the Bobcat. I feel your pain, Zillow's World. Up next is Christian Mata. I hope I said that right. He is located in Laredo, Texas, where he said that he only had two other miners in his area when he started, and now there is over 50 miners. He did the fan mod on the Bobcat. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of this before. I might make a video on it, but it is to keep it cool. It's actually pretty cool. As for antenna, he is using a 5.8 dBi from Rack Wireless. Seems like that is the trend. He's also using 16 feet of Pulsar cable provided by Rack wireless now i never heard of pulsar cable before he emailed me but it seems to be working out for him because he's making anywhere from 1.5 hnt to 1.9 hnt a day up next we have gregory's hotspot from arlington texas he is rocking the bobcat with the stock 4 db antenna elevated four to five meters in elevation one of his concerns is that the temperature in his attic gets relatively hot and it is over the operating temperature for his Bobcat. He says he's going to make some modifications if he can to improve cooling. He also purchased an 8 dBi antenna, which he plans to put on the roof and hopefully he can get installed soon. This is a really good idea for you, Gregory. I think you do need to install the 8 dBi, judging by your earnings and that you have zero witnesses. I think that would be the best case scenario for you. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for this first episode of Helium Antenna Setups. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please feel free to like, subscribe, turn on your post notifications to be notified when I upload new videos. All of the information for the people that were reviewed in this video are going to be in the description below so you guys can check it out and even buy some of the same stuff that they had. Also, if you guys would like to be in a future video, there is going to be instructions in the description on how to submit your information. So I will see you all in the next video. I hope you have a great day. Peace out.